The thought of scary folklore like the Wendigo or Baba Yaga narrated around a campfire, with the smell of roasted marshmallows in the air, and wide-eyed kids listening with glee, makes a charming picture. But some tales are scarier than others and work as cautionary stories for children and adults alike. Here are some of the scariest monsters we could round up from around the world, the kind that make you look over your shoulder, even in broad daylight. Photo, Flickr slash Warner Brothers Pictures 1. Wendigo Where is it from? In the folklore of the Algonquian peoples, the legend of the Wendigo, also spelled Wendigo or Wendigo, originated in Canada and later spread to the US. What's the legend? Some deviations exist, but the basic origin story is that the Wendigo was once a lost hunter. To survive a brutal winter, he turned to cannibalism and then turned into a crazed man beast with a taste for human flesh. The Algonquian tribes blamed the disappearance of many people on this frightening aberration. Often described as a gaunt skeleton of a creature smelling of death, the Wendigo has found many a mention in TV series like Supernatural. The TV series Lost Tapes depicts the strange noises a fictional rescue team heard while searching for lost campers in the Appalachian Mountains. How spooky is it? Given its penchant for human flesh, you don't want to come across the Wendigo during a hike. Many people discount its existence as myth, but some alleged real-life encounters exist. There's also the story of Swift Runner, a Cree man who reportedly murdered his family in 1879 and blamed the Wendigo for it, though he later recanted and confessed to the murders. Because many people go missing in the wilderness of both Canada and the US, the legend of the Wendigo remains a lasting one. 2. Black Anis Where is it from? Black Anis is a part of English folklore likely to have originated in Leicester. She is also sometimes called Black Anna or Black Agnes. What's the legend? Although many tellings and retellings exist, her origin story leads to reclusive Dominican nun Agnes Scott. After her 1455 passing, her spirit is said to have gone to the Dane Hills in Leicester, where she carved out a cave with her long talons. The cave is now known as the Black Annis Bower. Other stories have likened her to a pagan goddess. Either way, she's imagined as a blue hag with sharp claws and a penchant for gobbling children, although she is sometimes referred to as a witch, there are no spells or cauldrons about. How spooky is it? After eating children, Black Annis purportedly hangs their skins to dry and then stitches them into clothes for herself. She is still believed to haunt the church of St. Mary Delaware Castro and Leicester Castle. Whether true or false, these lasting legends are definitely good for tourism in Leicester. 3. La Llorona Where is it from? La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, is seeped into the folklore of Mexico and other Latin American countries. What's the legend? Legend states that La Llorona was once a beautiful woman named Maria, who either murdered her sons or was careless enough to let them drown, upon which she then drowned herself. She roams as a spirit and wails hauntingly, Ms. Hios. Ms. Hios. Donde están Ms. Hios? My sons. My sons. Where are my sons? It's a popular ghost story and finds many modern interpretations in movies like 2019's The Curse of La Llorona, where the cast itself had many supernatural experiences to share. How spooky is it? Like many other ghost stories, the tale of La Llorona makes a memorable cautionary tale for children, warning them from straying too near water or slipping out at night. It's a spooky thought for a mother to kill her children, and then decide to kill more because she wants what she so carelessly lost. Many people claim to have heard her crying or wailing, and the legend continues. 4. Kukasekana Where is it from? The Kukasekana is part of Japanese folklore and urban legend. Movies like Carved, the slit-mouthed woman present the legend in a more modern format. What's the legend? Supposedly the Kukasekana was once a beautiful woman who was mutilated, but the lore varies. Some sources say her samurai husband punished her for having lovers, while others state another woman disfigured her in a fit of jealousy. 
Either way, her mouth is slashed to either ear, inside of which are sharp teeth. Legend has it that she stops passers-by, asking them if she is beautiful. If they say yes, she then shows her scar, and asks the same question again. If they say yes again, she disfigured them like she is, and if they say no or gasp in shock, she kills them. According to some tellings of the tale, the only way to safely escape from the Kukase Kana, is to confuse her with an ambiguous or vague reply to her questions. How spooky is it? The idea of meeting a mutilated woman at night who either disfigures or kills you is a frightening thought. She commits her violence with scissors or a knife, so there's the added horror of that, plus she typically targets children. 5. Baba Yaga Where is it from? Part of Slavic folklore, the legend of Baba Yaga exists throughout Eastern European countries like Russia, Ukraine, Hungary, Poland, and Bulgaria. What's the legend? In common lore, Baba Yaga is the typical wicked witch. She's a hag who lives in a creepy house that walks on chicken legs, and she likes to feed on children. She does all sorts of sorcery, and parents often use her as a cautionary tale to warn children from straying too far in the woods, or even not going to bed on time. That said, modern interpretations see her as one of the most feminist characters in folklore, and new spin-offs have emerged since then, like Into the Forest, a short story collection. Even John Wick is called Baba Yaga in the eponymous film franchise, giving the assassin mythical proportions. How spooky is it? Folklore states that Baba Yaga often travels with death, freeing souls as she goes. She likes to cook and eat children in her cauldron, and her house is fenced in with skulls and bones, so it's fair to say she's definitely the stuff nightmares are made of. 6. Ghouls Where is it from? Part of Arabic, Bedouin, and Berber folklore, ghouls find mentions in countries with Arabian and or Islamic roots. What's the legend? Ghouls are demonic beings that inhabit burial grounds, and are considered part of the jinn, or jinn, family. They typically appear as women and lure travelers to their deaths, after which they feast on human flesh. In the TV series Supernatural, Sam gets attacked by a ghoul, not that we can see it much. To save yourself from one, you must respond to the Islamic adhan, call to prayer, and, if need be, convert to Islam to escape the religion's demons. How spooky is it? The folklore of the ghoul and the jinn is more of a religious cautionary tale, showing people what happens when they're not devout to their faith. That said, these cannibalistic bogeymen are enough to send a chill down anyone's spine, religious or not. 7. El Chupacabra Where is it from? While the name is Spanish and translates to goat sucker, the legend of the chupacabra exits throughout North and Central America. What's the legend? As the name suggests, the chupacabra is a vampiric creature that sucks the blood of animals, not just goats, and kills them. It's described in some legends as dog-like, and as reptilian in others. Many scientists believe mange-stricken canids like coyotes are mistaken for chupacabras, because the infection causes the skin to shrivel, it can explain the skeleton-like appearance, along with the visible canine teeth mistaken for vampiric fangs. How spooky is it? Anything that goes bump in the night is scary enough, and if there's an added vampiric element, it's even scarier. Sadly, it's perhaps more terrifying for the disease-stricken animal than any human who spots it. Today, the chupacabra is more likely to exist as an imprint on your t-shirt than in the forests or fields. 8. Tokolosh Where is it from? Part of Bantu folklore, the Tokolosh or Taikolosh, myth exists in many African countries. What's the legend? The Tokolosh is said to be a goblin-like, mischievous, hairy creature with a childlike stature that causes all sorts of evil to befall anyone unlucky to cross its path. It also supposedly leads children astray, and leaves them with unsound minds, and even kills people in their sleep. The British TV series Mad Dogs features a tokolosh that only one of the characters can see. How spooky is it? Purportedly, people wishing to harm others can call upon tokoloshes to do the job. Among the Bantu and Zulu people, 
unexplained deaths or other incidents are often attributed to the tokolosh, so the legend continues. An archived article in Time magazine recalls how the creatures even managed to disrupt a South African church service. 9. Yarmawaih Ehu Where is it from? The Yarmawaih Ehu appears in the folklore of Australia's Aboriginal people. What's the legend? Described as a frog-like man with a huge head and mouth, the Yarmawaih Ehu is known to hide in fig trees. It's mentioned in David Unapin's book Legendary Tales of the Australian Aborigines, where he recounts it as having no teeth, but suckers on its hands and feet. It waits for a traveler to rest under its tree, at which time it first sucks their blood, but not all of it, then swallows the person whole and takes a nap. After it wakes up, it regurgitates the still living person, who has now shrunk and bears a red tint on their skin. The victim must then play dead while the creature engages in poking and tickling. Once it's satisfied its victim is deceased, it takes another nap, at which time the person can run away. According to legend, if this misfortune befalls the same person enough times, they'll turn into a Yarmawaiche Ehu as well. How spooky is it? The telling of the legend is spooky enough, and many Aboriginal people certainly believe in it. Books like William Ramsey Smith's Myths and Legends of the Australian Aboriginals also include tales of this creature. 10. Davy Jones's Locker Where is it from? The first mention of Davy Jones's Locker comes from English novelist, journalist, and merchant Daniel Defoe, 1660-1731. The tale later spread to other seafaring countries. What's the legend? Unlike the Davy Jones Locker in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, which houses Jones's cold, cold heart, the actual locker is simply supposed to be the final resting place of sailors who drown at sea. This is how Defoe introduced it in his novel, The Four Years' Voyages of Captain George Roberts. In Tobias Smollett's The Adventures of Peregrine Pickle, published in 1751, Davy Jones is described as a fiend with saucer eyes, three rows of teeth, horns, a tail, and blue smoke coming from his nostrils. How spooky is it? For sailors out at sea, superstitions often run rife, and the very thought of Davy Jones is enough to send a shudder down their seafaring spines. Dying at sea is bad enough, dying because of an evil spirit is worse. 11. Naki Nakhanixi. Where is it from? Known by many names, the legend of the aquatic creatures comes from Germanic mythology, but also has a place in Nordic legends, and is familiar to many people throughout the What's the legend? The Naki, aka Nok or Nixie, are shape-shifting water spirits or fairies. In some stories they have gills, while in others they have scales or fish-like tails. Similarly to sirens in Greek mythology, legends say they call to sailors for help. In Scandinavian tales, the Nakan or Nakan sing irresistible tunes, luring people to them. However, would-be good Samaritans get pulled into the depths of the cold waters, never to be seen again. These creatures also find mention in video games like Bramble, the Mountain King. How spooky is it? Because the Naki are known to drown and eat people, they serve as cautionary tales to prevent children from going too close to the water, their stories are also popular with sailors. Songs exist about them as well. 12. Jiangshir Where is it from? The legend has roots in China's Qing Dynasty, 1636 to 1912, and has spurred many tales in Hong Kong and Southeast Asia as well. What's the legend? Thought to be a type of hopping vampire or zombie, the Jiangshir are depicted wearing traditional garments from the Qing Dynasty. They're thought to result from evil spirits possessing corpses, and they walk with stiff, outstretched arms. Their appearance ranges from fresh corpses to decomposed ones, and in many tales, pieces of yellow paper with writing stick to their faces or foreheads. Jiangshir kill people by sucking their qi, or life force. The movie Mr. Vampire helped make them part of pop culture. How spooky is it? Because they're gruesome reanimated corpses, and can kill you by sucking out your life force, the Jiangshir are very frightening versions of the undead. 13. Fei, Fairies. Where is it from? 
The fairy folk, aka the Fae, are common entities in folklore throughout the British Isles. In contrast to Disney fairies, like Peter Pan's Tinkerbell, or Sleeping Beauty's Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, the Fae are known to be far more mischievous, sometimes bordering on the evil. What's the legend? Legends say they cannot tolerate disrespect, and tend to be vengeful. Fairy circles, mushrooms that grow in a ring, still carry enough superstition that most people don't cross them, even though there's a scientific explanation behind them. Fairies can carry off people, and when it comes to their powers, they allegedly can do some scary things. How spooky is it? The rise of Christianity turned the Fae folklore into cautionary tales, warning folks what could happen if they turned their backs on Christian duties. To date, people tend to not cross fairy circles, and because lone hawthorn trees are supposed to house the Fae, these trees are left alone even if motorways must go around them. 14. Skogsra Where is it from? A Scandinavian legend, the forest lady Skogsra, is called so in Sweden. In Norway, this female forest spirit is known as Haldra. What's the legend? According to mythophile Jill Carlson, the Skogsra is the keeper of the forest, with many legends swirling around her, including some erotic ones. She can be kind to lost children, but tales exist of her seducing men and being jealous and possessive about her lovers. In video games like Bramble, she's like a Pied Piper who leads men into the forest, and some never return. As per Norse myths, even the men who do return will go to her if she calls them, almost like they were in a thrall. How spooky is it? Given that the Skogsra can be benevolent at times and evil at others, the legend stops people from venturing too deep into the wilderness. Her physical appearance is alluring from the front, and in more erotic versions of the story, she's described as nearly naked. She will always hide her back, however, because it may have a tail, or look like a tree trunk, enough to nip most fantasies in the bud. 15. Drekovac Where is it from? A mythical creature in southern Slavic mythology, the legend of the Drekovac is widespread in Croatia, Serbia, and Bosnia, and with the Montenegrin and North Macedonian peoples. What's the legend? The legends differ a bit, as some call the Drekovac the soul of an unbaptized man, while others consider it that of an unbaptized child. Either way, this undead creature rises out of its grave to haunt its family or other passers-by. Supposedly visible only at night, especially during the 12 days of Christmas or during springtime, a Drekovac's appearance allegedly predicts death. It's also said to have a piercing howl. How spooky is it? While the Drekovac doesn't find much representation in Hollywood, it's present in Brave Mita and the Drekovac from the Swamp, a short story by 20th century author Branko Kopic, who uses it to bust the myth and remove some spookiness from the creature. That said, it's an age-old cautionary tale widespread in rural areas and will likely stay that way. 16. Mwa or Nanda Where is it from? Part of African folklore, the Mwa is said to stalk Tanzania. What's the legend? The Mwa or Nanda is said to be a large, bloodthirsty feline the size of a donkey or horse, with abnormal coloring and a brindle pattern. Along with being part of Swahili folktales, the Mwa has also been blamed for various livestock and human deaths. Cryptozoologist Bernard Uvelmans argues in his 1995 book, On the Track of Unknown Animals, that the creature could be a color morph of a species like the African golden cat Caracalorata. It also finds mentions in many other books, like Edward Steer's 1870 anthology Swahili Tales, as told by natives of Zanzibar. How spooky is it? Given that some scientific studies exist about the creature, it may have existed as an abnormally large wildcat in the jungles. However, a lack of recent sightings today, along with modern technology and wildlife tracking methods, have taken most of the fear away.